Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, or whatever time you're watching this vlog, and welcome back to Into the Net. Today we have a double header of Irish League football. We are at Linfield and Sky Rangers, and the 5 30 kickoff between Trimble and the Champions Lawn at Solitude, which is behind me. So, hope you enjoy it, sit back and relax, and enjoy all the action from Windsor Park. As Kite Rangers, you can see the nine goals against Crusaders in the week were the visitors to Windsor Park. Nathan guard side, he done really well to save the penalty from the bonus, but he was just quick in the rebound. He slot in for 1 1, very much against one of play. It was really hard to see. Was it a penalty? Johnny Addis, the man that judged it, gave it away. I didn't see it to be honest, um, so I don't really know. But 1 1, but the have been excellent, they've been really, really well. Uh, played very, very well. Sam Ashford has been excellent on his debut. Probably hasn't had too much training time since coming here, but I think he's been excellent. About 1 1 on the 40, 44th minute. Half time solitude, Clinton will 1 Lauren 1. Uh, Clinton will go on ahead thanks to Ben Wilson. Really, really nice finish in the bottom corner. And then obviously, Lee Bonus equalised for Lauren after Johnny Addis was a judge to give him a penalty. Nathan Cardside did well to see it, but Bonus reacted well and he slotted in for 1 1. But Clifton have been the better side here, they've been excellent, so much energy. Sam, Ashford and Ben Wilson, they look fantastic um, as a pair. Ashford on his debut, like I said, probably hasn't had that much training time, but he's been so sharp. Great feet, so quick, um, so so much promise with him. I think Clifton have been excellent in midfield as well, Ricky Gallagher and Rory Hale. And Lauren haven't actually had that many openings, they haven't been able to carve Clintonville open. Clintonville have played with really good intensity energy. I'm pretty sure it's been a really, really good performance from the home side. Unfortunate to be level at half time, should should be ahead, but that's football. But you gotta say, I have to say, I've been so impressed. I was impressed on Tuesday away to Linfield as well. It was it was Jim and Jilton's biggest uh, test so far. 
and then when the champions come the game after and, and to play like this and for the performance to be like this is, is really really impressive high energy so much pace all over the park and they've been hungry they've showed so much desire so I have to say I'm delighted with that first half and long may I continue because that has to be one of the best halves I've seen Clifford play in quite a long time against against the opposition like against a top top team so I mean we're so impressed it's been excellent and like I say long may I continue because the hunger the desire the fight it's all been there I'm not one Clifford fan at half time can be angry with that performance because it's been absolutely fantastic so at half time it's Clifford 1 and Lauren 1 10 minutes in the second half. Come on, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Lovely play by Rory Beale and Chris Lowe. But nobody can give a shot away. But the intensity, the energy, Cricket Gallagher and Rory Beale in the middle have just really dominated this game. It's been absolutely superb. Really good performance against the champions. I think it's good to say, come on, we're playing them on here. That's how we're playing them. It's been really, really good. Still 1 1, but still lovely. Absolutely superb. Sam Ashford was so impressive when his debut cross came in from Chris Lowe and Ashford got off with a header and he bounced off the ground, That's me. that makes it even more awkward for Rowan for this and Alon Bowman does well to parry it away. 1-1 one, one, but Pimpton have been so good. Last few minutes Alon have sort of grown into it a little bit but you expect that uh, Taron Lays from Pimpton, the energy, the intensity has been just been so much. But Ashford's been superb on his debut. Um, he's been all over the place. And you can just see his quality. Re good save for Ferguson, to be fair, credit to him. Because the, the ball bounces, and that makes it even more awkward for the Lauren Bogey here, but he gets down so well that he had to pat it away. 1-1. Uh, uh, just over 20 to go. <laughs> Full time from Solitude, Clifford 1, Lauren 1. Um, really, really happy with the performance. A little bit disappointed that I haven't gotten three points there, to be honest. I thought Clifford were absolutely superb from the first minute to the last. The intensity, the press, it was such a good performance. Really, really good performance. So, delighted with the performance level. Obviously, we didn't get the three points, but you know, we're playing the champions. And you know, I, we more than matched them. We were the better side. So I played them for a good majority of the game. I thought Cricky Gallagher in midfield was absolutely superb. Broke up everything, and he started the counter attack. So I thought he was excellent, and I thought Rory Hill was excellent as well. But you know, he sort of Cricky Gallagher and Rory Hill, two very consistent players that Clifford will have in the middle of the park. As for Lorne. I think they'll be very happy, obviously, that they've got a point. I think they'll be very fortunate that they got a point. Um, but I just thought Clinton were really, really good. And that's the best I've actually seen the Reds play against a top team in, in quite a while. So really, really happy with that performance. And the next game is away to Glen Torn. It doesn't get any easier. That's next Saturday. So, uh, yeah, the, the building blocks are there from, from Jim Magilton. You know, that's... That's 10 points from four, ga uh, four games. Um, sorry, that's 10 points from five games. Um, so really, really, really happy with that. Um, yeah, it's it's been a good uh, it's been a good start of the season for for Jim and Jolt and Amstel Clifton. So on to next week against Glen Torren. And as always, if you've liked this vlog, uh, please subscribe. For more, we've had a double header today. Two really good games. Linfield against Carrick Rangers was just a bonkers game. 
Linfield for me needs centre backs before the transfer deadline on Friday. I thought Carrick Rangers were exposed them every single time that they went forward and I thought Linfield looked really shaky uh, defensively. Obviously they've conceded three goals, but a three three draw at Windsor earlier today and it was one of the one of the best games I've seen in a while. Um, just for NTN drama, just for chaos. Really I think that's the best word to describe it, chaos. So really enjoyed that game. Um, but yeah, I think they need centre backs. As for Carrick Rangers, they showed great metal, they showed great determination. They conceded nine goals during the week against Crusaders and they go to Windsor Park to play Linfield so close to that game. Um was something that you know I thought if they conceded early they would be in big trouble but they they uh, they weren't they were resilient and they obviously went one up in the game uh, but they were resilient throughout the game and they showed great character and belief so uh, I was a smashing game 3-3 three, three, that went so far today and like I said if you like this vlog please subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one very soon